on deck. He will crash on deck. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Wait, it's going to make for a good video. Okay, what we got going here is a helo crash on deck. This is training for the uh, fire party, the shipboard fire party, Wait. to go ahead and practice uh, coming out and put out a fire if the aircraft has a crash on deck or something. They'll start coming around the sides here from the left and the right anytime soon. As you can see, all the uh, khakis down on the flight deck are coordinating the effort. And we got the lunch crew just showed up. Yeah. Okay, here comes the fire crew in here. Simply sweeping through the fire. And as you see, we have the fire out here in the khakis. Now, if you notice inside the cockpit, too, we've got the pilot simulating death very well. Mr. Jackson slumped over. He is sleeping as normal. I can't tell. And we got somebody in the back as well. Last clear for the hot suburb. Rescue me! As you can see, the all one's kind of well taken care of in the event of a catastrophe. He does. You notice the pilots in the cockpit are about uh, well done by now. Oh, here comes the hot suit. Went over to your left in the shiny silver suit. Back out! Back out! Help me, Get professional. Yes, very, professional. very professional. I, uh, I personally think they sweep those hoses very well. What do you think, uh, Mr. Mellon? I think the uh, the technique is, uh, is, is well above average. The, uh, the way they relieve the nozzle is uh, timely, efficient. I have to agree with Same. you on uh, both counts, and uh, I want to give them a definite thumbs up from this corner, moviegoer fans. Oh, now they're going into the helo to rescue the pilots. As you can see, Mr. Robinson is back slumped over, neck exposed, very dangerous position because a fire can get to the esophageal airway right away. As you notice, the uh, hot suitman quickly... Uh, uh, and safely. They, yes, quickly and safely. They, they recognize the situation very rapidly. And they're in there to rescue the most critical person first. As you see, his main priority is holding his hood on. <laughs> the other man's providing that very valuable support to the butt to hold him up there. By the way, after this exciting evolution, we'll be seeing a, uh, a helicopter vert rep evolution. That's where the helicopter will be carrying a load on a cargo hook underneath of it, come in and uh, put it on deck. And they'll be doing a hoisting. Uh, they'll be hoisting uh, moi down to the deck and picking up one of our uh, friendly Dutch officers who's visiting our ship for a few weeks. We'll be hoisting him back up in the helo to go ahead and take his uh, his annual helo ride. By the way, your, uh, your fine acting crew inside the helicopter is Lieutenant uh, Henry Jackson. He's in the left seat, still slumped over with his head on the dash, uh, probably asleep. In the right seat, you have uh, Lieutenant J.G. Greg Robinson. Are they switched? I am sorry. Mr. Jackson's in the right seat. Well, I mean, from here, from here, from here, see? I'm talking how they are here. We're back to the original one. Lieutenant Jackson is in the left seat. Lieutenant Robinson is in the right seat as we see them here. And in the back, you have uh, AW3 Bilbo Tony Ridenour, which he is undoubtedly asleep. I believe they just brought in the chainsaw. I think they're going to have to cut him out, Charlie. What do that's you think? That's true. That's true. That, that little lever down there in the lap is very difficult to find, I must say. And up here, your narrating team, uh, filming, is uh, AMS2 Guy Burnett, Burnett. And your commentators for today's event are AT1 Dennis Melton and AW1 Charles Priestley. And our, uh, our director and producer on hand is Lieutenant uh, Jim Trueblood. Uh, I'm sorry to say he just made Lieutenant Commander. Lieutenant, that's Lieutenant Commander now, is it not? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And we our, want to congratulate khaki, him on that. Our khaki fans down below us here, we have the DC Chief, uh, we have the mess, 
mess chief, uh, he's up here to make sure that the pilots are cooked properly. Yeah, I understand that was uh, that was going to be served in the wardroom tonight. That's, that's true. Uh, that's that's true. a rumor, yes. but uh, pilot Al Graden. And then, uh, then just in the white vest and white crano, we have uh, Senior Chief Chandler. He's the air debt uh, leading chief petty officer. Down there, meticulously watching this evolution. And walking away is the foreman Doc. He's the chief, so he's here to make sure that if the pilots aren't cooked properly, they're salvaged. They can make their flight commitments the rest of the evening. Charlie, I see some movement down there. I believe we're about to get one of the pilots out. That's true. That's true. Here we go. Oh, he's helping them. He's helping them. That's 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 not good. Yeah, that, that's not good for the hot suit. Well, we've about had enough up here, and, and Lieutenant Commander Trueblood is heading down there to show them how it's done. This is pathetic, people. All the humanity. Charlie, I'm disappointed. It started out as such a efficient yes, evolution. I know. It, it started off with a thumbs up from this corner, but uh, I don't know. It's, hey, I gave it a four-star rating to begin with, but it's... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Somehow we've ran into a snag here. Look at the hood. Uh, yeah. I think it's the hood problem. Uh, yeah. he's, uh, he can't see. Uh, of course, he's got it on backwards. Yeah. Uh, no, he's looking like he's got it straightened out. Now. Oh, he's got his hand over his eyes now. Okay. He didn't want to see it. We I should guess. be okay. we got a director on the scene. That's true. There's Mr. Mr. Trueblood is there. He's pulling them out. Get out of there, he says. Let me show you how it's done. All right, Lieutenant Commander Trueblood is up. He's telling Mr. Robinson to assume the position again, that, that death position that he does so very well. Okay, Mr. Robinson is getting back in position. There he goes, head back, the head back. I love it. He does that better than anybody else in this world. There he goes, they're pulling him out. You see how he did that? Did you see that? The lieutenant commander was up one sweep, one sweep. I, uh, I, the man deserves an ovation. That was excellent, excellent, excellent work. Up, oh, the hood's off again. There's, uh, there's one hot suit in dead. One, yep. But did you see the technique there, ladies and gentlemen? He, you know, just once we reached up there with that masculine membrane of an arm he's got there and ripped the pilot right out of his seat. It was incredible. Notice to the right. Notice yeah, the dedication of fire. I just Our fireman is still. He is sweeping it away. Is that PC? That is. That is PC. That's, that's our that is Lieberman. Our, uh, Look at that man. He is going to town with that fire hose. Well, this could be an academy. Uh, I know. Academy award for him. Dedication. Uh oh. Oh, uh, they finally got the pilot clear. He's now laying in the burning fuel, but that's okay. He's out of the aircraft. <laughs> All right. This must be some French cooking. Add the wine, light it. Very good point, very good point. Yeah, so Lieutenant uh, Jackson still slumped over on the dashboard. But he's not as critical because his throat is uh, covered by his uh, chin and everything, so he's not as critical. Let's not forget the mugster. Yeah. I wonder how the mug's doing. Yeah. The mugster is our own very uh, NB3 Tony Ryan there. He's, he's still in the back there, frying away. Exactly. Bearing in mind that the fuel on this aircraft is JP-5, it burns extremely hot. If this were a real crash on deck, the flames would be uh, going into the sky well above our height that where we're at right now. Uh, black smoke everywhere. The heat would be uh, utterly uh, unbearable. But, uh, but as for you simulation see, our, purposes, our is... crash party has everything well in hand. They're still getting their hoods on properly. They're ready. Hmm. Well, let me ask you, uh, Petty Officer Melton, uh, in the event of a real crash on deck, what would be your first instincts as, a, as an experienced uh, first class Petty Officer? Where would you be going? Well, as uh, uh, having been through this once or twice, uh, this drill at least, uh, I think I'd probably be up on a bridge right now talking to uh, the captain. And, uh, and trying to lead it to the uh, video camera in the uh, in the tower. I think uh, we have well enough uh, personnel on the deck to take care of the situation. Uh, in fact, more than enough uh, from uh, my vantage point. But uh, again, the, the situation's safe. Uh, like, look, there's the MS chief down there. I think he's uh, he's changing the menu. That's true. Uh, the menu is changing. Looks like he might be changing. I think he's telling the doc right now that the pilots are cooked well enough to be served in the wardroom tonight, that they won't be able to assume their flight duties. Uh, I understand it was 350 degrees for 15 minutes. That's, that's true, but, but since uh, we've, got the, we've got extreme heat now, we might get the microwave effect. It might be by, uh, a little sooner. But what do you think huh? he's saying about uh, Tony in the back? You think he's saying that AW3 Ryan now is a little overcooked, maybe? Uh, a, little, a little overcooked, but yeah. they were talking about shish kebab for him. So, yeah, uh, it if might he's be overcooked, he'll definitely be served on the enlisted mess decks tonight. Yes. Uh, oh, I can't wait. You notice the professionalism of the Dutch officers. They're, they're out here. They're supporting us 100%. Look at that guy. That's amazing. Well, 
Hot Pet House Freezers 2. Uh, now we're going to yeah. go in for the mugster. I hope yeah. the uh, little charbroiled bread isn't too bad off. That's, that's true. Hey, also, notice, notice the proper flight deck uniforms out here. We've got a professional fire party, chin straps not in place. I see one guy down there that hose team, uh, chin strap dangling. But he's got his goggles on. That should keep the helmet from flying off in case of explosion. Yeah. 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 About this. Oh, the Dutch man's taking pictures for the record. He's, uh, he's documenting this fine American training here. They're both taking pictures. They're very impressed, I can tell. Oh, Doug's they're still clear. alive. He's trying to put the fire out himself. That's true. What a hero. Uh, that's, that's we, that that is, that's metal quality. Yeah. This yeah, is, oh, this he's is punching. He's putting the fires out himself. He's punching himself. He Amazing. So the fire well, we're panning back now. Gonna, gonna see the 